On August 6, 2008, I flew into Guayaquil, Ecuador, and met Drew Sorrell, the owner and captain of sailing vessel Doja, a 37-foot catch rig sailboat. Our mission? To get the Doja across the Pacific Ocean to Tahiti, with a few stops on the way. Our journey began in La Libertad, Ecuador, a coastal city of about 75,000 people. Our vessel and home for the next three months, SV Dozia, had been sitting in storage under the harsh equatorial sun for nearly a year and a half, staring out at the ocean, waiting for her chance to sail again. Coastal Ecuador is a depressing place during the southern hemisphere's winter. Six days a week, we had nothing but gray skies and murky polluted water to boot. As if the dismal weather weren't enough, the Ecuadorian authorities decided they would make us jump through a few hoops in order to get our Zarpe, a certificate required for all vessels entering or leaving every country in the world. Basically, finally, what we've got out of them is that I need to go to Guayaquil now, which is the major city about two and a half hours away and uh, file for a uh, inspection, some sort of safety inspection to be done to the boat. And we've checked with everybody in this marina. I've checked with another marina called Puerto Amistad, which is uh, north of here. No sailing vessel has ever been asked to complete a safety inspection like this. How many weeks of paperwork have, have you gone through to try and get the exit paper? Uh, let's see, this is like day, day 30 of um, working. You know, it was, it was three and a half weeks or so with customs, and now a week, you know, a little, basically a little over a week with the port captain, and uh, still, still no Zarpe, still no exit paper. And uh, how long does this usually take in other countries? Uh, in other countries, about an hour. For everything. For immigration, customs, and port captain. So the don't. I guess it's ever taken me is like three hours. So don't ever come to Ecuador on a sailboat, right? Uh, not at the time. They haven't figured out what the hell they're doing. Todos los boletos Pero mañana, mañana salta el sol Y si no es mañana, igual acabará saliendo Si no sale hoy, mañana se acabará el dolor Brillarán las luces, ya pasaba la desidia Our unexpected delay gave me some time to explore the city and learn a little bit about Ecuador. Despite its crumbling buildings and broken roads, La Libertad has a vibrant, bustling marketplace with plenty to see and do. First stop was the fish market, where you can buy anything from huge chunks of tuna, to live crustaceans, or fillets of your favorite type of fish. With only one condition, none of it is refrigerated, so it's a good idea to get there early in the morning. The same goes for other types of meat. Chicken, beef, just about everything you buy sits out in the heat all day. I'd like to think that vendors put out fresh product each morning, but I wouldn't bet a case of indigestion on it. It's impossible to walk through an Ecuadorian market without seeing bananas. Heaps of bananas. Despite the relatively small size of Ecuador, it exports more bananas than any other country in the world. Captain Drew and I stocked up on fruits and vegetables for the sale to the Galapagos and headed back to the boat. All the produce needed to be scrubbed down to prevent any little bugs from joining us on the trip. Those are some clean vegetables. Finally, after six weeks of waiting for Captain Drew and two and a half weeks of waiting for me, we got our exit paper. It was time to put the boat in the water and set sail for the Galapagos Islands. Six 
See you later, baby.